Hello, I'm here with Ian McNeese, who we know as Winston Churchill from Doctor Who. I'm from the Gallifrey Times. Nice to meet you. And you too. Um, so, have you been to a Birmingham convention before? Oh yes, many times, yeah, absolutely. And a lot of other conventions all over the world, in fact, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and Australia recently a couple of times, all with Doctor Who. Um, so I've done a lot of conventions, yeah. That's good. So you're looking forward to today's one then? I do, although I think my sell, sell by date is sadly up. I think, I'm, I think I've finally reached the end of the golden mile, the end of the rainbow. I think my pop has been picked or plucked or whatever. I think I'm done. <laughs> Um, so, obviously, we know you as Winston Churchill from Doctor Who, and you've appeared in a few episodes. So, are you now our resident Churchill? I think so. I'm pretty much so. I'm pretty much Churchill has uh, been with me for a while now. I've played him a couple of times in the theatre as well. I did him at the National Theatre in a play called uh, Never So Good about Harold Macmillan. Jeremy Irons played Harold Macmillan, and I played Winston in that. And then I also played him... Uh, in the King's Speech, um, which was the theatre version of that play, which we did in the West End at, Wind at Wyndham's Theatre. So, church has been around a while for me. What is it that you like about playing, assuming you do like, uh, like about playing the character? Well, I think he's such an iconic character, and so, so many people identify with him. And it was fun just learning about him. I mean, he was such a wicked, wicked individual. Hugely funny, and a lot of... Um, uh, uh, a lot of wit. I mean, I mean, so many stories you hear about him, like this one where this woman um, uh, accosted him at some dinner and said, Mr. Churchill, are you drunk? And he said, well, the difference between us, madam, is that when I wake up, I will be sober, but you will still be ugly. And I think that's, you know, any man who can come out with a, a quick phrase like that has got to be, you know, pretty cool, I have to say. Are you a man of wit yourself? Oh, yes. No, I mean, a huge amount of wit. No, I have to say, no. You know, people pride me on it. It's true, yeah. So, you played him in the TV series. Um, have you done anything with Big Finish or the audio? Yes, I've done, I've done a couple of Big Finish shows. Now, I did one with uh, the Doctors, um, one with um, Paul McGann as Doctor, and the other one I did with uh, the, the, um, the, the fabulous, iconic Tom Baker. Now, that was... Interesting, because I did the first one in London, but the other one we had to travel outside of London for two hours on a train to Tunbridge Wells, and I'm thinking, why am I coming down here to do a radio radio play or, or, or a CD or something like that? And it wasn't until I got to this tiny little studio in the middle of nowhere, and Tom Baker came through the door still in his pajamas, holding a coffee cup that I realized he only lived two minutes down the road. And that's why we were doing it down there. Yeah, no, he turned up. He was great because he said, I wouldn't say that, I'd say this. I'd say he changed all the dialogue. And so it was, uh, it was great working with him, I have to say. And he's such an iconic doctor. And he was a doctor that I grew up with. So, you know, I remember him as a child, virtually. Um, so, obviously, sounds like you're a fan. Have you been watching the current series? With I have, yeah. And I think they're very lucky to have Peter Capaldi. I mean, he's such a... A brilliant actor, and, uh, and but I mean, I think, I think the jury's still out on him. I think, aren't they? I mean, I think people are still making their mind up about him. But I think he's, uh, I think he's a wonderful actor, um, you know. But um, we'll see. We'll have to see. I think he's great, anyway. So, are you hoping to work with Capaldi in the oh, near future? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that I, I don't think Winston's over yet. I think. Well, the last time you saw him, he was talking to a man with a green face. So I think we can bring back Winston at any time now. So, you know, so uh, he's hoping to, uh, that, that, that we see Winston again in Doctor Who. I think we will. Yep, well, he's hoping. So enjoy the rest of the convention. And it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All the best. Thank Thanks you. very much.